Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar Halacha. Here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Thursday, 29th day of November, 21st day of Kislev, which means we're getting very close to Hanukkah. I know the Hanukkah lighting uh, law for you. When the menorah is lit in the shul, there is a specific way that the menorah is supposed to be placed. It has a lot to do with the way the placement of the menorah was in the actual temple, in the base Hamikdash. And we try uh, as best as possible to, to get close to that arrangement when we arrange it in the shul. In the, if you could picture a mishkan or a temple, uh, the way it was always set up was such that as you walked in, you walked in the east entrance of the temple. And uh, at the far end ahead of you was the western end of the temple. So on your right was the uh, north side, and on the left was the south side. Yeah. East as you walked in, west, west was the far end of the base Hamikdash, north was to your right, and south was to your west. Now, uh, it comes out a little um, crazy because... Uh, I'm speaking, most of the people listening to this are in uh, you know, areas like North America. So we all face east, and our shoals are mostly directed towards the east to be in the direction of Yerushalayim. So basically, since when the menorah was lit in the temple, it was lit along the southern wall. You walked in to the Beis Hamikdash on the east entrance, and uh, over to your left was the south wall, and that's where the menorah was. So you got to flip it a little and think that when you're in a shul, in North America, and you're facing east towards Yerushalayim, you also want the menorah to be on the southern wall. So, if you could picture your shul with, let's say, hopefully, that the Aron Kodesh, the Holy Ark, is on the uh, eastern wall of your shul. So the south wall of your shul would be to your right. And so what most shuls do is they set up the menorah as you're facing the front of the shul. It's to the right, near the south wall, or at least in the southerly half of the shul, with it uh, facing this way from east to west. And that pretty much copies somewhat. Remember, everything's reversed because the, the Mishkan sort of faced towards the west, and we are, in North America, we're facing towards the east. But the main point is, I'm sorry, I think I said this in a bit of a confusing way. Simplify it, it's like this. The, the, uh, the menorah is put on the south wall of the shul or at least on the south side of the shul, and facing back to front, which is east-west, which is very similar to how it was set up inside of the Mishkan. Um, and then typically what the shamash will do is stand at the southern side of the shul, face the menorah face on, and then light it. Uh, he shul will have its own custom there on how to light it. In general, even though I've given you the specific way that a shul is supposed to set it up, a lot of shuls have their set custom, based on whatever the rabbi maybe a decade or two, three decades ago told the shul of this is our custom. Each shul should follow its custom of how to set up the menorah. But this was the gist of how most shuls were uh, arranging it when they arranged their shul. So uh, if you're coming into a shul and helping them light the menorah between Mincha and Marav, you should do it according to the shul custom. If the shul doesn't have a custom or you're setting it up and you don't know the custom, then it should be on the south side of the shul, um, facing east-west, like this. And uh, and then, yeah, and you light it every night between Mincha and Marv. And the idea is that you want to, again, Pirsumi Nisa, broadcast the miracle. That way everybody in shul sees it and, uh, and is reminded of the lighting. And that's what we like to do in shul. You still light again when you get home, because then you want to do the Pirsumi Nisa, the broadcasting of the miracle, for all the people of your home. Hope that made sense. Thanks for logging on and log on again tomorrow for more Halal.